All right, so today I have the Traxxas Sledge and I'm gonna show you how to balance the tires. I've already made a video on the E-Revo, but might as well do one for the sledge. So you wanna grab your tool from the toolkit, the smaller one, there's only two on the sledge. And before you start, you wanna loosen that pin that's in there. Believe me, it'll be easier now instead of trying to wrestle with it later. Remove the wheel nut. So there's that tire. And then there's a little pin in here. So you wanna remove that pin, remove the hub, or the, whatever that, that's called. Set it back, tighten it, so you don't lose that pin. Then you wanna take this piece and put it in the back of the wheel, like that. Then take your nut, go ahead and tighten it. You don't have to go, you don't have to crank on it, so just tight enough that it doesn't move. Then I use a Debro prop balancer, and they have increased the price of these, unfortunately. And of course, Loctite Fun Tech for the balancing. So what you wanna do is take your balancer, of course, put it in there. And I'm going in through this side because it's easier to put the weights on this side. Of course, that right there. Your spring and a little keeper or tube in this case. And just make sure there's no movement. And then when you place it on here, you can see that oh, it must have been right. You can see that there's a heavy side. So no matter what angle you put it, the heavy side will always go down because of gravity. So what you want to do is counteract that weights by putting weights of your own at the 12 o'clock position so right here and i've already pre-measured this for the video so i'm gonna go ahead and put it on there and there you go and then i'll press that in later but you can see that no matter where i put this tire it stays like it doesn't have a heavy side i mean it has slight but i'll push that in later so that tire is now balanced Ignore the wobble. There's no the mo no movement up and down. So that tire is balanced, and then when you're done, of course, just take it off, pull it apart. I'm gonna press this in now because I'm gonna make it final. And then I'm just pressing it, pressing it in so it doesn't fly off. And you can't see from that side, but you can from that side. I'm going to loosen that nut. There we go. And then you can use this setup for all the tires. You don't have to remove them from every single tire. You can use this for all the tires. So now that that's done, loosen that pin back up. Put this back in. Sorry, this video is a bit long, but showing you all the steps necessary. Put the tire back on, of course. Right. And now you can tighten that nut in the center. There you go, now your tire's balanced and you can do, do that to all of them and you're good to go. No more vibrations, no more heat on your bearings. And that, that about sums it up. All right, so I'm checking the tire balance. I know a lot of these new ones don't have a, the tires balance very well. Oh yeah, a lot of vibrations, see that? Yeah, a lot of vibration. So we'll have to balance the tires. Yeah. Like I said, I balance the tires. So this video will show how much smoother it is on uh, with balanced tires. Ready? So we don't have all that vibration from the tires. Yeah, 
So no vibration, no shakes, pretty smooth.